Well, General Manuel Noriega ended his long trip back home after more than 21 years. He is now behind bars in the prison uh, behind me, the jungle prison called Renacer, and this is an hour away from Panama City. He came on a commercial flight from Iberia, transferred from Paris to Madrid and then to Panama City. Afterwards, he was airlifted and he arrived here. We saw his caravan drive by. Unfortunately, he did not want to show his face to the media and the cameras. We saw him get off in a wheelchair and he was wearing some sort of raincoat covering his face. Many Panamanians were hoping to see what he looked like. Uh, now he's 77, of course, and they know that he's had, he's suffered a couple of strokes and that his health is not in optimal condition. So there was a lot of curiosity, expectation to see what General Noriega looked like. He was feared 22 years ago and now, of course, returns home a different man. But we did see that a few victims showed up all the way to this prison. They shouted, uh, we want justice. And that's basically the general feeling here in this country. The young generation do not really remember the military period or the end of the military period that Manuel Noriega is identified with. But the victims of those disappeared and torture have come here to ask for justice. We know he'll remain behind bars for the moment and his lawyer has told Al Jazeera that he's going to, uh, he wants to defend himself and get a chance to present his case to justice. Of course, we understand that he's already been convicted and he faces at least 20 years in prison. More accusations likely to come up, but he wants to have a word in the courts and perhaps then explain and tell a little bit of what he knows. Many secrets that, of course, a lot of people are waiting to hear from this man who was both a CIA spy, uh, collaborated with uh, the Castro regime and also with uh, Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar. So he has a lot of information and we'll be keeping you posted with all the developments of the story. Right, well, that was uh, Monica Villamazar reporting just a little while ago from uh, the prison at Gambo, outside the prison. These are live pictures right now uh, at the prison, and we are expecting uh, possibly that the fact that Manuel Noriega will be uh, appearing at some point, and we will, of course, keep an eye on these, a BDR on these pictures. Uh, let's speak to Monica Villamazar right now. Monica, give us an idea of what's actually happening. Well, um, it's quite interesting because, uh, you know, the, the authorities, authorities here say, said that basically uh, they had used a decoy uh, of Manuel Noriega, the first uh, person that we saw, uh, if you remember, uh, on a wheelchair uh, covered, you know, having his head covered, was not Manuel Noriega. The second person, when we actually reported it rightly, that, that was him. He came in a caravan. But, but nobody really got to see his face, his physical appearance. The whole country had been waiting for that. And uh, really, the, the media and even the victims that had come all the way here um, started protesting, saying, uh, you know, the authorities had handled this badly. Apparently, the president had to intervene. He actually tweeted that the media and, and the country should be shown what Manuel Noriega looks like. And, and kind of, you know, hinting that, that it's... It, the, pic, the cameras didn't capture that image. Uh, people may not believe it was true. So we are waiting, um, as you can see, and as you've correctly said, we're waiting to see uh, if he actually um, appears. Uh, Monica, let me just jump in there just a second, because uh, we, from what I can see, just about just to the right-hand side of the wall that's there, there is somebody who's sitting in a wheelchair. Whether or not that's the, the decoy that you're referring to, his face is obscured, so you can't actually see. Um, uh, that may be right. Noriega, we don't actually know, but it seems a bit strange that there's such a song and dance about this. You're absolutely right. It's, it's very strange. Um, even locally, if you will, uh, they say that this has been quite a, a strange uh, way of operating on behalf of authorities. Uh, the person you are seeing, by the way, th that's what we're hearing is that this is Manuel Noriega. But uh, as you rightly mentioned, I mean, there's just no way to confirm uh, this anymore, especially after the incident that just happened, uh, basically, that they sent someone into the prison first, and then uh, minutes, uh, literally 15 or 20 minutes later, uh, Manuel Noriega actually stepped in, you know, in a, the same wheelchair or a similar wheelchair and wear, also covering his head. Um, so, we're, you know, it's, it, we're here standing by uh, to see if this is uh, General Noriega. It's interesting that he never spoke to the media. I mean, what we can assume and what sources have told me is that he doesn't want to speak uh, or give any type of interview. And, and this would just be sort of showing him to the press from a distance type of situation. Right, absolutely. We've got a clearer picture. Uh, he's still got his head turned to us, so we can't really see. It's turning around now. Uh, if somebody may be able to confirm in my ears, I can't see that screen very well. 
It certainly looks a lot like him, so we're just waiting for confirmation to, uh, to be absolutely certain that is him. Like, we're pretty sure that it is, 90% sure that it is him. Sorry, Monica, go on. Absolutely. I'm sorry. We were shown a still picture, um, and that was sort of the first attempt on behalf of authorities, again, seemingly worried about the reaction and, and maybe realizing that the whole decoy, decoy idea wasn't uh, such a brilliant one. They showed a still photo to the press that a policeman took on the cell phone. And, uh, of course, uh, viewers, I guess, uh, of, of the local network and people started protesting, saying that they really need a, a, a little bit more of a, of a solid proof. So uh, this is what's been happening and, and quite a bizarre day here unfolding of events in Panama. Okay, Monica, thanks very much indeed for that. Just to confirm what we've been looking at here, just uh, waiting for uh, Manuel Noriega to be uh, shown to the press and public. We've seen a glimpse of him, pretty sure that it was him, uh, just in the background. Uh, and these are pictures of him earlier arriving at the prison Gamboa in Panama. Uh, this is, of course... Uh, Panama's former military leader, Manuel Noriega, back home uh, after many years away. He returned from France after being ousted from power in 1989 and spending more than 20 years in U.S. and French prisons. And now he is at, uh, in prison at Gamboa in Panama.